Hey, what's going on, everyone? So um, you're probably in the same boat as I am. You'll probably get into a little bit of gaming recently. And uh, I'm not going to say the game, but I think we all know that the queue times in uh, this game called Classic, I'll just call it Classic, okay, <laughs> um, is pretty long. I've actually been sitting in the queue for the past three hours now. So, yeah, I'm sure they're going to fix it soon, but... What I want to do is kind of bring you into an educational kind of space, and I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this video, and I might take it down if um, I get any, like, threats or something that I'm, like, destroying the, the game or community or whatever. But you got to think about this. You know, you know, a lot of video gamers are coders, and, you know, there wouldn't be video games without coders. So there's always going to be like hackers and stuff, but this is not a hack, okay? There's a big definition between hacking and exploiting and kind of the gray area, right? All right. So yeah, you could probably say this is definitely illegal. So I definitely do not recommend this uh, if you, you know, don't want to if you don't want to get banned or whatever. But um, I'm not saying you have to use this for a game. You could use this for anything, and that's why we're, I'm going to show this to you uh, in Notepad, okay? So. Basically, what this code does is I'll walk you through it and how to do everything to get you started and start learning because this is an educational video, by the way. This is purely educational. Um, so anyway, let's get into it. So say you have a program and you want to type something in there and you want to do it for a certain amount of time. And let's say 30 seconds, okay? So here's the requirements for this, this program. The requirements are to find a window. It could be any window, in this case, Notepad. Okay, you can find the window you want. You basically right click on your task manager and the title of the description is what you're gonna put in here. I'll show it to you now, this little space right here. Okay, so if you have a program or a game, you're gonna type in that text right there and it will find that window. Okay, and the next requirement is to set the focus of that window. And then the next requirements are to enter certain keys into that program, okay? and within 30 seconds just repeat forever okay now i'm going to give you the the skinny here this code is by no means a professional code if you are a professional coder feel free to uh modify this you know as needed but um so let's get into it okay so what you first want to do is you want to download pycharm or if you are already familiar with python or you know coding you could use any browser or I'm sorry, any, you know, IDE that you like. There's Sublime, there's Atom. Uh, I recommend PyCharm because it's free and it has all the bells and whistles kind of, you know, there. It's kind of easy. So what you want to do is get this installed. Um, click all the pop ups that pop up, you know, make sure that your Windows Defender is not blocking anything. Um, and then it also has terminal. Make sure you have terminal access. If you don't, uh, just make sure that it, it works right. Um, Okay, so this program, the first thing you want to do is we're going to import some, some modules, okay? The key thing here is the PYN put. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, module that we need. We also need these uh, certain ones like key controller, time, and Win32. Now, Win32, you might get an error, so you might need to import the Win PYT, I believe it is. I'll have to get back to you guys on that one, but... Uh, I'll post it in the just des description below um, before I, you know, if I forget, what, I forgot what it is, so I'll post down below if, if I remember. But anyway, so first thing you do is we have a function here. We're going to call the function down here. Okay, this is the loop. So while true, run this function and then do that every 30 seconds. Repeat. Okay. So what does it do? It runs this function up here. Okay. First thing it does is this variable called whnd. Okay. We're going to set that to this. Um, win32 GUI, okay, we're going to call the find window. The find window takes two arguments. That is the text that's in your task manager, the program that you want. So if the text that shows up is, uh, okay, so that basically you right click on your task manager and you're going to, you know, take the text that you want. And in each other arguments, you just put none. So put a comma on. Print it out to see what the code is. So that's the code for Notepad. That's just a hardware ID, okay? Your computer recognizes that ID and um, we're going to use that later, you'll see. Uh, you're, this is purely, you know, kind of your decision of what you want to do. I like to put little timers now and then because it acts really fast, okay? So it's good to put like one or two second timers in between some of these actions 
specifically for key presses because um, sometimes it's too fast. It might skip a window. So uh, you'll see down here below, I got a couple sleeps in there. Uh, first thing you do is go ahead and use that 132. We're going to set the foreground, okay, of that of that program, okay, and then we're going to set it active. Now this is optional, um, but you play with it and you see how see how it works for you. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to bring the program up in front of me, and I want to focus on it, okay. So in case I'm like you know in some other program, it's always going to go ahead and focus every 30 seconds on that program, no matter what I click or what I do, okay. And that's kind of my thinking here is like, you know, if I go out a window, I alt tab of some or something, I want to make sure it goes and focuses back on what I want it to do. Okay, so we basically call this uh, keyboard controller and then we get into keyboard stuff. The keyboard stuff is kind of weird. I would definitely recommend kind of playing, do what you want to do. Uh, if you're familiar with the, the dancing and some of the, the classic uh, programs, <laughs> um, that's kind of what I did. So basically the way I have it set up is I hit escape, okay? First thing I do in the program, I hit escape, the clear out, whatever inputs I have. And then I basically hit uh, the space bar. That could be to do whatever. And, and again, some games that jumps, you know, it could jump, you know? Uh, so you jump and then you wait one second and then you press the enter key, okay? You press that enter key and then you start typing, okay? What are we gonna type, okay? So we're gonna type whatever we want. And the way it works is you just do keyboard and then the press action, okay? Now when you press down, you gotta think like a computer here, right? So the, the reason why it's like this is because you're simulating the computer. So you're gonna press the button down and it's gonna hold it down until you tell it to let go. So the next step is really just to release it. And that's really what we're doing. So I'm gonna tell it to hit the slash there and release it. And then wait a second and then hit the keys that I want. So I want to type each one. So we just copy and paste that and it spells dance. Okay. And then we want to do is hit the enter key. So you could really do a lot of things here. You could say, you know, type it different things. You can use arrow keys. There's lots of stuff to do. If you want to know more about this keyboard function and, and these, um, these modules, just Google the, the main website and, and you'll find the uh, documentation and be able to dig down into it more deep. Okay. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and just run this. Okay. So in PyCharm, you can hit the green button up here on the right. I didn't click anything else. It found it printed that out. Okay. You see here the um, the ID for my hardware, and then you can see it's it's typing slash dance. It's gonna wait 30 seconds, and it's gonna do it again. Okay. Now, notice that the Notepad popped up in front of me, right? because it, it came to the foreground. It's doing exactly what I wanted to do. All right, and it's setting it active and it's starting to just type away, right? And it looks like it's doing everything I need to do. So, so far it's working great. So let's wait a few more seconds, make sure it iterates back through the next iteration. Now, there it goes, okay. So there it goes, okay. So you can kind of just use your imagination of what you could do with this. And like I said, this is purely educational, okay? Flash education, okay? Uh, <laughs> can't say that enough. But, you know, without these kind of, you know, videos, you know, where where would you learn it? I mean, college, high school? No, you're going to learn on the Internet, you know? It's, you're going to get it somehow. It's better for you to understand it and comprehend it so you don't, you know, destroy something, you know, and cause more harm. That's kind of my thinking, you know? Um, so anyway, guys, that's really it. Uh, I'm not going to do much more with this program. I'm going to leave it as is. One thing you could do, and you're probably thinking, okay, well, how do I like run this like an EXE? Well, there is a uh, simple way to do that, and I'll do that in another video. But basically what you do is you compile it, okay? You take a Python. You can Google how to compile a Python uh, project, and it's real simple. It's literally one command, and what you do is you get a... EXE and you just execute it and it creates a separate service in your windows. You could also make it into a tray icon if you want. So when you're, when you want to like, you know, stop it or, you know, stop the process, you just basically stop, kill the task manually. Now, a couple other things I could do, I could say, um, quit on the keyboard. You know, if I hit the escape key three times or something, I could say quit, you know, quit the program. I could do something like that. I could also do a little GUI. Okay. Python's cool, right? Um, Py Python is pretty cool. I can actually pop up a little GUI screen 
and say quit or restart. And I think that's what I'm going to do next. I think I'm going to pop up a little GUI screen. Uh, it's a module called Tinkter, Tink, Tinkter to whatever. And uh, it's all free. And that basically can I can create a little you know GUI and I can click it and stop it whenever. So that's pretty much it, guys. Do me a favor and just you know hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave a nasty comment down. I'm just joking. Leave a nice comment down below, okay? I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but um, you know, I'd rather you get it the educational way than to go to some bad website and then they try and hack your computer and download some weird software. You know, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna give you some link to the exe. You're going to have to do it yourself if you're really that eager to do this kind of stuff, okay? And you learn so much, and your, your the light bulb goes off, and uh, you kind of feel like you accomplished something. And that's really what I'm trying to give here. I'm not trying to exploit anything, uh, even though it kind of looks that way, and especially when my function's name is anti-AFK. <laughs> but um, so anyway, guys, I'll leave it at that. Uh, like I said, I don't make any money on this stuff. I only have, what, 500 subscribers. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to do this YouTube thing. I'm new to this. But I'm really going to do some more of these Python apps, uh, more Python videos, because I think it's one of the, the uh, more fun, kind of really interesting kind of Python uh, or programming languages, because you could do so much stuff with it. You know, it's really cool. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Bye.